All right, guys. So yesterday, uh, Blue and Q got into a pretty good fight. <clears throat> so here we are the very next day after the fight. After I cleaned them up yesterday, last night I cleaned them up. And uh, so you see Q right there. He's limping on his front right and you see Blue, he's kind of packing his. And he, I told you he's gonna be sore. I'll show you up close. Blue, sit. Blue, sit. So the scratches that was on his face, I just rinsed it off. There we go. It's nothing. Now there's his leg. That's the damage to his leg. And as you see, there is some swelling in it. A little superficial wound that he'll help doctor on it. Like, just like that right there, you know. Uh, here come Q. Hey, y'all better leave it. Q, sit. Sit, son. Q, you better sit now. So, so there's Q's front right leg. A little bit of swelling in it. Uh, so today I just carry on as if nothing happened. Got Athena out there laying down. And actually, you know, <clears throat> they'll run around on it. They'll do as much as they can on it. What they can't do on it, they won't. So keeping them moving, keeping the blood flow, you know, that's going to help them heal. Uh, I'll spray some little topical medicine on it, and that's about it. Didn't take them to the vet to get no stitches. Uh, I didn't even give, give them an antibiotic shot. I don't feel like it's nothing that serious that, that need any of that. Uh, this stuff happens in the wild all the time even though these dogs are domesticated you know they're still dogs and as long as it's not as long as it's not uh terrible there's no need for me to take them to the vet it's nothing that i can't handle myself hey it's okay go check it out go check it out so you see uh q's running around on his pretty good blue's up here limping on his there you go He's packing his a little, a little bit worse than Q is. But give him a few days and you'll notice he probably won't be packing it at all. But Q is just all over the place. So I just wanted to come back and do this video the very, very, very next day to show you. You know, a lot of times people see something like that and they, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You know, and they think it's so terrible. You know, it looked a whole lot worse than it was at first, but it's not my first rodeo. I've seen it before, I've been through it before. And uh, as long as I have dogs in packs like this, I'll probably go through it again, you know? The main thing is that I want to try to prevent it from happening. I don't want it happening. And I'll do everything I can to keep it from happening, you know. But sometimes, uh, you know, like I said, Blue kept asking for it. Not only was he sizing Q up, he just would run and, and pretty much hit Q. I mean, just run into him like he was trying to bully him. And, and Q tried to avoid it a couple of times. And I asked Blue to stop. And I thought he did, but as soon as I turned my back, man, the fight was on and they were too strong at the time. So there was nothing I could do. I tried to uh, break them up at first, but uh, they were too fresh, too strong, and I wasn't gonna get myself hurt. I love my dogs, but I love myself as well. So uh, I let them do their thing, I had to. I was tired, so, so uh, I let them do their thing and they got tired enough to where I could handle them. They were pretty much ready to quit, you know? So just wanted to show my viewers, show my viewers what they look like after the fight. This is the very, very next day. And here we go, you see, there we go. We got Bull, Q trying to size up Bull. 
There they go again. I think Blue thought about it. He didn't want none that time. All right, guys. So, uh, Athena's ready to pick on Libby. So, so you get that. You know, you got dogs. They want to establish their dominancy. Athena want to establish her rank with Libby. So, Libby's pretty much submitting to her, you know. But I noticed Libby, she's, she established hers with Allie, you know. So it happens when you have dogs. But I just don't want the fighting. And I, like I said, again, I'll do my best to keep it from happening. Q, get over here, my man. Hey, over here, everybody. Come on, Tina, get over here. Get over here. Q, bull, get up here. Sit. Q, leave it. Sit, son. We got everybody right there. Hey, watch me. Down. Q, down, son. Blue, you think I ain't talking to you? I don't care about your leg hurting. I didn't do it to you. You did it to yourself. So there we go. Uh, again, I just wanted to show my viewers. Hey, it's okay. Keep telling you guys, man, I'm sleeping on this dog right here. Look at that beautiful black and red dog. Now, he is available, man. Huh? He is available. I'm going to start doing his old pet protection training. Uh, actually, I'm going to foster him out. And I'll, I'll take him a lot further. Had a few people act like they were interested in... And for some reason, you know, they change their mind, which is all on them, you know. I tell you guys all the time, I don't force my stuff on nobody. Because as long as I got it, it's going to get better. The price is going to go up, but it's going to get better. But that's a beautiful black and red dog right there. Psst. Beautiful black and red dog. Bull. Down, son. Good boy. Down, son. Good boy, bull. Bull, it's okay. All right, I'm out.